Hi, Don Deary here with KC Waterproofing and Foundation Repair. Today's topic is, is it safe to live in a house with foundation problems? And I'm going to talk about four different things. We'll talk about foundation problems are common, water causes most of your problems, signs might you might be experiencing, and what causes the problems to your home. So when we talk about is your house, is it safe to live in a house with foundation failure? Or problems the answer is yes and uh, you know most foundation problems are very common especially in the Midwest where we have clay soil when clay gets dry it shrinks when it gets wet it expands and the expansion and contraction of the clay soil is what causes most homes to settle or have problems now I know you've heard all of this because the internet's full of that information right every foundation company talks about that but what I do know in 39 years that we've been repairing homes and buildings in Kansas City is that water causes most of the problems. And what I mean by that is too much water causes the soil to expand and contract to swell. Too little water causes the soil to shrink and cause foundations to move. What we'll typically find is that homes will move seasonally over a period of time to where clients will call us and say, you know, my front door's not working. And then they'll call back, you know, in a couple weeks before we can get there. And like, oh, my front door works. I don't need any help now. And I'm like, well, it's just a matter of time. And then they'll call back and they'll be like, my front door doesn't work now. And it's not opening or closing, period. Because what happens is every time the soil expands, it puts air back into the soil. Every time it shrinks, the air goes away. But the soil never comes back up to the height that it was underneath the ground. So water causes most of the problems. So controlling the water will help control foundation problems. Number three, signs you might be experiencing. So the, the number one signs that we see are doors and windows. Not opening or closing, right? That's the most common thing we hear. Another thing we hear is that I have cracks in the sheetrock. So when you have cracks in the sheetrock, that's normally a sign that the house has moved or something's changed. The next one is cracks in the foundation. And those are very common because normally the foundation doesn't move all at once. It moves differentially, meaning one side moves, the other side stays stable. And that causes a lot of cracks in the foundation because where there's an action there's always a reaction okay so what causes problems so let's talk about that it's just a few basic things that cause foundation failure number one just dry weather most common most of our calls come in August uh, September October after a, a severe drought period uh, we've been in a drought for a while now uh, also trees now you might say, what do trees have to do with it? Well, the transpiration through the tree root system pulls moisture out from underneath the foundation and pulls it out, drying the soil, causing the soil to foundation to settle. So trees, normally 20 feet away, you know, those type of things. Uh, water ponding. Now that means that water is ponding around the foundation in areas where you don't want it. So that's why we do French drain, gutter diversions, uh, you know, moving water away from areas so that the water doesn't get trapped in one spot and cause, you know, overabsorption where you get a heave or where the water goes away and then you get settlement. Other things are plumbing leaks. Now believe it or not, plumbing leaks happen undetected. You might not even notice it. You might not even see it. You don't even know it's happening. But over a period of time, a pipe leaks underneath your floor, causes your floor to subside or settle, which then causes a foundation to fail. So I hope this helped. Remember, is it safe to live in a house with foundation problems? You know, most of the time, yes. But when it causes doors or windows not opening or closed, or it causes means of egress, escape, or it's causing major structural damage to the home itself, you need to have it inspected. If you suspect any type of foundation problems, 
be sure to give us a call here at KC Waterproofing and we'd be more than happy to help you.